So to start off, you're either going to need a styrofoam head or a canvas block head. And today I'm going to be using a mass dome cap. You can use a regular one, but these are just a little bit more breathable. Um, I'm going to take T-pins to pin down my closure. The hair that I'm using today was sent by the customer. So if I can get her to um, give me the name of the company, I will leave it in the description down below. And you want to just align the closure with the two lines on the mesh dome cap and use T-pins to pin it down. Um, this process may take a while because you do want the um, closure to lay as flat as possible. Whether it's a closure or a front, so you want it to lay as flat as possible. So it may take you a while. Um, but yeah, just keep doing it until, just keep fixing it on the blockhead until you get it as flat as possible. Because the last thing you want is for there to be like big lumps um, when you're trying to sew your closure or front to down. And right now, I'm just combing the hair so that all of it stays out of my way when I'm sewing it down and sewing the rest of the hair down. I'm just combing the hair and then I'm just going to put it into a braid and clip it up. So now that everything is pinned down and the hair is out of my way, I'm going to show you guys how I start sewing and I'm going to play it in slow motion so that you guys can fully see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put the needle through the first layer of the mesh dome cap, not through the elastic, through the band on the side of the closure or the front to whichever one you're using and you're going to wrap the other piece of thread around three times and pull through. So again, you're going to put it through the first layer of the mesh dome cap, through the side band of the closure or front suit, and wrap the thread around twice or three times so that it's secure. And then you're going to pull through. Once you continue doing this, you can just wrap it around once, wrap the thread around once. And once you're in the front, sewing down the front of the closure or the front tool, you want to make sure that you're not sewing the elastic itself, just the first layer, because then it will not stretch. So now I'm just showing you guys a close up. Again, I'm just going through the mesh dome cap. There's a little band on the side of the closure going through that. And then I'm going to wrap the thread around the needle once and I'm going to pull through and I'm going to continue doing that until I get all around the closure.
so now that everything is sewn down i'm just gonna take out the t-pins and i'm showing you guys that it is on there securely um for the bundles now i am going to take a 22 inch bundle and unravel it i am sewing it on double wefted the first two bundles i am going to sew it on double and then the last one single this is um body wave hair i have 22 20 and 18 inch and the closure is 16 inches Now again, I am sewing it on double wefted so you can see here that it is two tracks put together and I'm going to show you where exactly you should pin it. So about ear to ear or at least behind the ear to behind the other side of the ear and I'm going to just take a T-pin to pin it down. Um, this just helps you sew a little bit easier because the wefts will already be in place and you just have to sew and remove the t-pins as you go through so i'm going to just pin that down going through the weft and i'm going to pin it where i want and i'm just going to put it to about the same exact spot on the other side which is either near the air where the air would be or right below right underneath the air on a human head if that makes sense So now to begin, I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm just going to go through the wefts first and then I'm going to put it through again the first layer of the mesh dome cap, not through the elastic because again if you sew on the elastic it will not stretch and I'm going to pull through. I'm gonna do the same exact thing one more time just for some extra security I'm going to go through the wefts through the first layer of the dome cap and then wrap the thread around and pull through to make sure that you're pulling on the thread so that it's secure after every loop that you sew and again once you're on the elastic band part make sure you're not sewing on the elastic band because it will not stretch and I'm just going to continue doing this through so now I'm not really going through the weft you can if you'd like but it kind of takes up a lot of time because the weft can sometimes be hard to sew through so i'm going under the weft wrapping the thread around once and pulling through Now I'm just going to let you guys watch me sew 
a little bit more in slow motion and then I'm going to speed up the process because it really is just the same thing going around and I will come back when I'm showing you guys how to flip the track over. Now to flip the track over, you want this to be very flat because we're not cutting the wefts. So what I like to do is lift the track up just a little bit. You can see me doing here, I'm lifting it up and then I continue to go straight. This makes it so that the track folds at the end and stays flat when you're trying to sew it down. And once you sew it, you're gonna go through the weft. Don't go underneath. You want it to be as flat as possible. So I'm lifting it up and I'm gonna push the needle through the wefts, through the first layer of the dome cap because we're still on the elastic band. And then I'm going to put T-pins to help me get the rest of the track to stay flat on the head. And I'm going to continue sewing as I normally would. So to explain one more time, I'm pushing the needle underneath the weft. I'm going to wrap it around once and pull through. And that is exactly how I'm going to sew all the bundles on, whether it's double wefted or single. And this is what it looks like after I sewn on one bundle, it's double wefted. I'm going to do the other one and come back when I finish on the last one.
so to finish off sewing i'm on the last row what you want to do is flip the weft over the next track over and i'm going to go through the weft and sew through the band of the closure the same band that we sewed on last time when we were sewing the closure down i'm going to sew in that same area so push the needle through the weft through the band and through the first layer of the dome cap push the needle through and then i'm going to wrap the extra thread around one two and i'm going to pull the needle through again for the rest of the way through you can just do one loop over it and go underneath or you can go through the weft So I really ended up using all three bundles. Um, I only had a little extra piece from the last bundle left and I like to single weft it so that it's not so bulky and it can lay flat. Now, to get the closure part exposed, or the frontal part exposed, you're going to cut that piece off. Now, when cutting, you want to be careful because you don't want to cut too close to the thread and then the thread unravels. You want to cut at least a quarter or half an inch away from where you sewed. After you cut that part off, then your wig is complete. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned for part two of this video where I'm showing you guys how I style it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And I will leave all my social media down below for you guys to follow me. And yeah, if you guys like this video, just let me know. Like if you want to see more wig creation videos. I have already bleached the knots on this closure. That's why it looks so good. And the front of it was eh, pre-plugged in a way, but I did go in a little bit more. But stay tuned for part two and you'll see all that good stuff. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.